Pappy, kick this off. Hey, hey, this is the Redneck Willie's Jeep Show. What's your name, buddy? My name's Jeff, and you are? I'm Pappy. Let's get to this thing. Let's talk about Jeep. Ha! Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, JT. I missed you, man. Yeah, I, I miss you too. It's been a week. I know. <laughs> so, we hope you liked our first episode. It was a good one, I think. That's right. Please, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too, buddy. That's right. So we can keep making these videos. Because we like doing this. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but a lot of work. What's coming up next? Don't you got a Jeep coming in we've been talking about? Yes, I do. I got a Jeep coming that was at White Sands, New Mexico. I think there's some history behind that. You gonna tell that story I'm, later on? I'm gonna tell all kinds of things about that Jeep when it gets here. Well, you know what should we take a look at first? Weren't you telling me something about gaskets? Why don't Why don't we look for gaskets? But I gotta find them. But we'll talk about gaskets and because gaskets are very important. And then we go outside and look at them because we like going in the backyard. We're gonna go in the backyard because the backyard's full of stuff. Let's get her Jeep done. Jeep parts everywhere. <laughs> I know that you guys are interested in gaskets, so let's find it. All right, here we are talking about gaskets. Very, very important. If you're gonna build a motor or anything mechanical, you gotta have gaskets. And here in this box, since we're working on Willie's Jeeps, we have a Willie's Jeep flathead gasket. Uh, this keeps the compression inside instead of letting it out. That would be bad. Let's see what else we got here. We got, uh, got a valve cover gasket. Um, water pump. Everybody knows about water pumps? Water pump gasket, keep the water in. Wonderful thing. This gasket kit here it's for an automatic transmission. Not a lot of Willys have automatic transmissions, but I've got a gasket kit. Here we are with exhaust gaskets. You gotta keep the exhaust in because if you lose exhaust pressure, things won't run right. Another valve cover gasket. Gaskets are important, very important. Remember, a small amount of Permatex goes a long way, don't, lose, don't use a lot, because you'll cause problems. All right, in the mid 60s, Jeep was having a hard time with production of motors. Jeeps sold good, but people loved their Jeeps, but they wanted an option. So they've reached out to Buick. Buick had a V6. They had to do some modifications to the frame, but gave you a lot more horsepower. People love that option. That motor option was a Buick 225 V6. Just so happens I have one here in the shop and eight on a pallet outside. We'll be looking at those on a later episode. Here we are talking about tools again. This is a metal shear. When you're gonna do body work, you need to cut a piece of metal out. This is a great tool for doing that. The center here moves up and down and it cuts the metal, it's great. Hey Jim, don't cut your finger off that thing. I, hey, I don't think it would, but I'm not gonna put my finger in it. I know you're down to only two toes, so we need your fingers to continue this video series, okay? I, I agree. Baby Butter, back to you! <laughs> hey, JT, I hear you got this cool book out there, man, that really tells you how to fix a lot of stuff on jeans, man. Tell us all about that. Well, I've had this book a long time. It doesn't tell you everything that you need to do. 
but lots of good information. And you can see the book is well used. Tells you torque specifications, tells you how much oil to put in the Jeep for each model, all the engines, all the transmissions, everything. Now, as I said, it doesn't tell you everything, but it gets you started. And I mean, of course there's the internet, but when this book came out, there was no internet. So it's really cool to have a book. I thought they called it intro now. Isn't that what they call it, JT? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. It's a redneck show, right? I didn't understand a word you said. Of course you did not, Pappy Booter. <laughs>